hello to all my friends out there and this is Ruth Stone House of Sumner Fine Jewelry and Collectibles the weekly show number 14 so I have a lot of parties you know tea parties and so I am always looking for tea party stuff and it's really not that easy to find I have uh, two silver teapots not really high quality teapots at all but you know I use them a lot and I like these and so I will buy some more as soon as I find you know now that I have two I can uh, be a little bit more picky and find some good ones so I bought this little um, platter for my tea parties really cute and if you were following me um, I had a book and you know I get books at the library and that's how I learn a lot of stuff and YouTube you know so um, there was ladies who had tea party collections I mean impressive collections so you know I'm always looking for stuff to add to my collection so today I found this little um, plate it's really cute and it's nice because you can unscrew it and clean it uh, you know I already cleaned it so now that it's pretty much clean I can just wipe it out this is a custard um, bowl and plate that I bought and it's cute so that will be come in handy for some jam or some clotted cream and so you know I saw that and I picked it off cheap okay and then I bought this plate this is perfect you know for tea parties a very patriotic too so I bought this for my tea parties you know uh, you have to buy the tea party stuff when you find it okay and now I'm collecting uh, silver bracelets this is I bought this today I would say it doesn't say but I'm pretty sure this came from Mexico I bought this for a dollar and what I do um, is I buy stuff and then you know when I go to um, the swap meet I throw big piles of this stuff on a table and the ladies come by they try it on and you know they buy it and so you know uh, the trick to this is buying all the time you know you buy one this day buy one that day and then when you get enough you can always sell them this is not sterling silver it's just a cute silver bracelet and it has a cute clasp and this is is a pretty beat up silver bracelet but um i have learned uh when you find say if you're trying to find uh bracelets you know as long as you're pretty sure they would look nice on some lady's wrist uh, which i'm pretty sure in each of these cases and you know i sell them i price them to sell okay and so now i am selling watches but you know, uh, there is a lot to learn when it comes to watches. So in my mind, you don't want to go um, spending thousands of dollars, you know, when you don't know what you're doing. So, okay, my strategy was find uh, very cheap watches. Not, I wouldn't say cheap, but not expensive watches that resemble really good watches. And so then I found uh, this watch. So you might say, well, why did you buy these two watches? Well, there's a good reason. Because these two watches resemble uh, high-end watches. And I will show you. Okay, here is a Reverso. And uh, here is the watch I bought. You know, I know, I realize this is a stretch. But you see the idea? You see how my watch resembles a really nice watch? Uh, that's why I bought it because most likely and then you know I collect um, all kinds of um, bookmarks okay so I tried to find a watch that resembled a high-end watch what I'm gonna do with a watch you know this watch is damaged what I'm gonna do I don't know okay now this watch okay here we go uh, let's see, uh, more classic look, platinum with leather strap and silver index dial. Okay, this is not platinum, don't be ridiculous, but it's got like a silver face, and it's nice because it has military time too, 
And so you see it resembles this high-end watch. And here is my bookmark, very cute. Uh, some of these bookmarks I've had for years. So, you know, the point is uh, collectors, a true collector of things, they will collect anything, jewelry, watches. Um, I'm new to watches, and the thing about watches is you, if you don't pay much, you can sell them. And then, you know, if you buy stuff pretty cheap for your tea parties, you know, that's not an expensive hobby. So, okay, uh, God bless you all.